five tonight, a new national study shows Alzheimer's could be detected earlier. And that's welcome news as our population, especially here in Nevada, grows older. And 13 Action News reporter now Tom George talked with the experts to try and break this all down for us. And Tom now George is live here in studio to explain all of this. Tom. Yeah, well, Todd and Trish, the one thing that we're always told is, you know, keep your mind sharp. This game right here I was playing earlier is one of a, a favorite of mine and our producer Jessica. I was actually playing it on my phone a little bit earlier, but still there's no magic bullet to prevent Alzheimer's. But today a new study is providing a little more hope. Gene and Pat Ulrich from Pahrumpf have been together a long time. 60 years. Oh, wow. Going on 61. And for the past 15 years, Pat has had Alzheimer's. Husband Gene says it all started in 2003 when Pat thought she forgot her phone. She says, I forgot my phone at Bible class. And I said, oh, no, you just called me. It must be in the car. After testing, she got her diagnosis. After treatment at the Lou Ruvo Center, she's lucky to have been doing relatively well the past 15 years. Today, getting a boost of excitement, a new blood test that can potentially detect the protein NFL. It might mean noticing the disease more than a decade before symptoms began. This uh, study is exciting, but it's still preliminary. At Lou Ruvo, which also conducts Alzheimer's research, Dr. Aaron Ritter says while it's not a complete breakthrough, it could be a step in the right direction. We can detect changes in their blood before they develop cognitive symptoms, before they start developing memory loss. We've never been able to see that before. Across town, Dr. Eric Farbman at Roseman agrees. He says the study only deals with one form of Alzheimer's, and genetics isn't the only factor. And even the genes that contribute, most of it is susceptibility genes, which is not the same as like eye color. So what can you do to prevent it? Well, aside from what Pat likes to do. Puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. While there still aren't a lot of answers, doctors' best advice is to exercise, especially cardio, and maintain a healthy diet. And especially as you start to get older, make sure you stay social. That'll keep your mind sharp. In the meantime, the research is still happening, even right here in Las Vegas. We hope that one day we'll be able to push the disease off into the future, and I think that day is coming uh, closer as we speak. For now, the Ulrichs are holding on to the good years. Oh, Brother yeah. lived to be 101. I'm helping <laughs> be there. I don't, I don't think I'm going to change any. <laughs> Yeah, they have a good attitude there. And another piece of advice, those ancestry tests you see like 23andMe can give you an idea if you have markers for Alzheimer's for the genes there. But again, doctors say you shouldn't completely rely on those either because, again, it's not genetics. You need to make sure you stay healthy too. Tom George, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas. Good.